Welcome everyone to the state of the game for the 18th of it's May. May. Yes. Yes. May 2017. Sorry, I know that you'd yeah. be more excited. I am excited. Okay. This is my excited face. Come on. <laughs> this is how French people are excited. Do excited. Face. <laughs> I, don't, I don't get it. Uh, no. So yes, 1.6.1 scheduled for release next Tuesday. So far, everything is on track. Of course, we are no like we are never. 100% safe. There might still always be something in the last minute, but yeah. it's you know very very likely. We are 99% sure that it's going to be released this Tuesday, so in four days, five. Yeah, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Yeah, there's four days that you won't have it. Four sleeps. Is that how it works? <laughs> days. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, but yes, that's that's coming, and then we start. Uh, we well, you're going to be in Newcastle on. Tuesday, Monday night? Monday night, yes. I'll be arriving Wednesday morning, but ETF starts on Tuesday. Exactly. All right. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, and we also have the, so the patch notes for update 1.6.1 are coming. We are finalizing them now. They Great. will be released uh, on Monday. The reason why we're waiting is that uh, there are a few final changes that are coming in there. So there are a few final bug fixes and uh, server side fixes uh, that took place after the PTS 3. So we're adding all of that to a patch notes and we'll be... Uh, so ETF next week, yeah. uh, and uh, as we've been doing in the past few weeks, we've been uh, focusing on keeping these state of the games a bit shorter and a bit more to the point. Sorry about talking about beards. But um, we're not going to be on that long today. Uh, we, we've got yeah. the key things to talk about yeah. and then we'll be hitting off. Uh, but ETF is obviously a big part of what's coming up on the agenda mm -hmm. uh, for next week. Yeah. Um, what are the topics that we'll be covering there with the peeps? Uh, so basically the theme of this ETF, and that's very important for everybody to understand because we don't want you guys to have uh, you know, a wrong understanding of what we're going to do there. The theme is the whole year two. It's the whole year two, everything that we're going to do there. So that means right. it covers update 1.7, update 1.8, and also other uh, like quality updates like we did 1.6.1. We may do a 1.8.1, all these kind of things. Okay, cool. Uh, so it's going to be covering not only 1.7 and 1.8, but also potential other things we could do outside of these uh, two updates. Why this is important? Because a lot of the things we're going to discuss, because obviously 1.7 is already pretty advanced in terms of development, uh, and we'll be talking about that one very soon. So a lot of the discussions we're going to have with the uh, ETF, we're going to talk about 1.7 and have them you know, test it and like, we'll tweak things based on their feedback and all of that. But a lot of the discussions and the things we're going to, do, uh, to agree with them are not going to be implemented before 1.8. That so is it's true. It's very important to understand. Therefore, the good thing is that with the timeline and the way we approach it, uh, that gives us a lot of time between the ETF and 1.8, which means that the discussions we're having now uh, have way more chances of actually having an impact on 1.8 yeah, because exactly. it's early enough so we can actually... Uh, That's one of the things we've learned from yeah. previous ETFs. I mean, uh, while those ETFs came in a little bit close to the, the update that yeah. was yeah. afterwards, yeah. and we had to wait until later to implement some things. Mm -hmm. uh, with this, that's not going to be yeah. really a problem, which that is really, was, really cool. Yeah, that was the case mostly with the, uh, the second uh, ETF Bravo with update 1.6, uh, also, but also because there was the Christmas time in between, so that of was course. hard to... Sure fit everything. But now we're good. So, so that's going uh, to be interesting. Uh, what are they going to do? So one thing with this ETF is that we want to be a bit more transparent with you guys on what's, what's going to happen there. So we can talk about that. So now we can tell you what they're going to do is they're basically, there's going to be a mix of discussion and gameplay. So they will be testing uh, update 1.7, what we have of update 1.7. Uh, it's not finished yet, but they will uh, get to test. We talked about 1.7 having uh, or take on seasons, which are now called global events, I think. Okay. Uh, and uh, feats, which are called commendations. I forgot. But we are still going through the names and finding the official names for this. Yeah. But they will get to test that because that is already pretty advanced also in development. So they, uh, they will get to test it and give us feedback and we'll you know, uh, build on it based on uh, what they think. Um, there will be some stuff that they can test from 1.8 already, which is interesting. But again, 1.8 is there are a lot of open doors for changes and like new things being added depending on the discussions we will have with them. Um, and then yes, a lot of uh, a lot of discussions, workshops, debates over uh, specific topics. Some of them will be, for example, I wrote down a few of them. Cool. Sorry, I need my notes. I don't have all of them in mind. But uh, yeah, stuff like gear, gear sets, exotics, balancing. 
or like existing one, how do we balance them? You know, like stuff probably we'll talk about, you know, ninja backpacks or dead eye and this when, kind of stuff. When you obviously. say these things in particular, I, I saw someone in chat before asking, uh, is there a possibility for new weapons to be added or mm -hmm. that sort of thing? Is that, is that on the table? Yeah, that's going to be that's going to be discussed as well. Okay. Uh, right. Obviously, it's uh, yeah, not only balancing existing ones, but also new ones. What would you like to what would you like to cool. see? What would you like us to to add? Uh, we want to talk about PvP, about the dark zone, about the rogue mechanics, all these kind of things. These are some discussions that we had already with the second ETF, with ETF Bravo. There are some changes that are uh, some uh, yeah workshops we did with ETF Bravo. Uh, the results of which have not yet been implemented in a game. Yep. Uh, so that's things we want to want to keep the discussion going with DCTF as well. Um, DLC improvements on the ground survival last stand. How can we improve these and like make them cooler? Uh, world tier and gear score increase. Is that a good idea? Is that not? Uh, this also this also is a discussion we want to have. Uh, and also one of the things we want to do is also. Uh, keep an open door for their topics. So we are actually having time in this agenda where they will get to decide what they want to talk about. I so think that's important it's not just well, yeah. us saying, hey, here are the things we want to talk about. It's also, okay, what, what do you want to bring uh, to us? These are only some of the things we're going to discuss. There will be more, obviously. Yes. But um, yeah, it's covering pretty much the whole scope of all the things we want How to How can the community get in involved in, <laughs> in this? Because I think it is important that uh, we we don't just limit the the conversational ability mm -hmm. to the people that are there. Yeah. I think if we can extend it to yeah. these folks, yeah. Then, so that'd be cool. basically, that's that's the idea. It's that we want we want you guys to participate or uh, to give you guys more of an opportunity to participate in these discussions as well. Uh, so what we're going to do first, the important thing is talk to the ETF members, the ones that have been selected, ETF Charlie. I know that some of them have already started putting surveys out there, polls, or started you know, gathering feedback yeah, from the rest really of the cool. community. I took one of those polls. So if you, okay? if you find someone that is a member of the ETF, and again, we are not naming them ourselves because we want them to decide if they want to be you know, uh, public or go public with the fact that yeah, they're a member of the ETF because it's also a lot of pressure to take as a player. Yep. Uh, but if they name themselves and they're gathering feedback, make sure to participate in these discussions and uh, give them everything you have so they can show up at the event already with a list of things that they gather not only from their experience but from the rest of the community. That's, uh, that's one way to approach it. Another thing that we want to do is we are putting together a big, uh, it's probably going to be one big survey, uh, which is going to be focused on lots of the topics that we just mentioned. Um, so the idea for this survey is that to give you guys a chance to uh, yeah, fill out the survey and voice your opinion on all these topics. So then we can use the result of these surveys as a base for discussion with the ETF, and we can go more in depth on some of the results. Uh, I see that there are a lot of opinions already about your score and all that. This is the kind of things we're going to put in this uh, survey. I have no doubt about the results, but that's something we still well, want to put to the question. I don't know. I, whenever I've gotten to the position where I felt that I, I know what the results are going to be, there's, uh, there is often, not all the time, um, but we, we hear from a very uh, specific part of the community a lot. Yeah. Uh, and sometimes, sometimes I've been surprised by other parts of the community uh, speaking up about different things that I hadn't maybe considered or hadn't given yeah. as much weight to as I, uh, as I think. So whoever you are, uh, whatever you do, whatever you enjoy doing in the division, make sure that your voice is yeah. heard by taking the survey. Yeah. That's important. Yeah. Very important. Uh, links to a survey. We don't have a link yet. And I see too easy, 201, saying surveys, surveys, and more surveys. That's the best way we have to actually uh, try to have you know, an objective quantified feedback from you guys. We're mm -hmm. reading all the discussions and all of that, of course. But surveys are also a great way for us to actually have better idea of proportions on what people think. Uh, so that's when we put surveys out there. That's the best way you can uh, you can give us your feedback. Yes. Um, and also another thing we want to do to give you guys more visibility is also we are looking at ways to uh, put together recaps, uh, hopefully on a daily basis. So at the end of the day, we would like to put something on the forums that kind of sums up what have been the main discussions we've had and what are some of the key learnings or this kind of stuff. Uh, it's all going to be very organic, and it's uh, it's the first time we're going to do it. So. Hopefully, it's going to work. <laughs> there we go, OK. But yes. Uh, yes, we're looking at ways to basically tell you a bit more what is happening during the ETF and, uh, and all of that. Yeah, that's important. All right. There will also, uh, disclaimer, uh, like I put down below, there will be no state of the game next week because we won't be here to be able yes. to do it. 
But like we said, we do want to make sure that we have some up-to-the-date information for all of you. So the forums will will be on there doing doing the recaps yeah. and stuff. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So that that's kind of state of the game. -ish. All right. I will see you. Wait, not next Thursday. I was almost going to say that. Nope. We'll see you on the forums next week, and then <laughs> after that, we'll deal with that when we get to it. All right, <laughs> that's going to be it. All right, see you guys. All right, Thanks see so you. Much.